Hello, and welcome back to our Pregnancy Journey series. Today, we're diving into what you can expect at 34 weeks of pregnancy. I'm here to guide you through this exciting stage and provide helpful insights. So, let's get started. Before starting, make sure you are already subscribed to the channel and activate the bell to receive notifications. At 34 weeks, your baby is about the size of a cantaloupe, weighing around 4.7 to 5.8 pounds, 2.1 to 2.6 kilograms, and measuring around 17 to 18 inches, 43 to 45 centimeters, in length. Now, let's talk about some key aspects of this stage. Physical changes, growing belly, your belly continues to expand as your baby grows, and you may notice increased discomfort or heaviness. Consider using a pregnancy support belt to alleviate some of the pressure and provide extra support. Shortness of breath, as your baby presses against your diaphragm, you might experience shortness of breath. Take breaks, sit upright, and practice deep breathing techniques. If you're concerned, consult your healthcare provider, Braxton Hicks contractions, you may experience more frequent and intense practice contractions. These are irregular and usually painless, but if you notice any regular or painful contractions, contact your healthcare provider for guidance and reassurance. Baby's development, lung development, your baby's lungs are getting stronger, with surfactant production increasing. This substance helps their lungs expand and prevents them from collapsing after birth. This is an important milestone as your baby prepares for life outside the womb. Responsive to light, your little one's eyes are now sensitive to light, and they might respond to bright light by moving or turning their head. You can try shining a flashlight on your belly and observe their reactions, but remember, every baby is different, less space to move, as your baby grows, there is less space for them to move around in the womb. Their movements may feel different, more like rolls and stretches than kicks. Pay attention to their patterns of movement and contact your healthcare provider if you notice any significant changes. Preparing for birth, nesting instinct, many women experience a surge of energy and the urge to organize and prepare their baby's nursery during this stage. Take advantage of this burst of energy but remember to pace yourself and not overexert. Focus on creating a calm and comfortable environment for both you and your baby birth plan, and hospital bag. It's a good time to finalize your birth plan and pack your hospital bag with essentials for both you and your baby. Include necessary documents, comfortable clothes, toiletries, nursing bras, and anything else you think you'll need. Discuss your birth plan with your partner and healthcare provider to ensure everyone is on the same page. Self-care and comfort, rest and sleep, as your pregnancy progresses, it becomes even more important to prioritize rest and quality sleep. Experiment with different positions for sleeping and consider using pillows for support. If you're struggling to find a comfortable position, a pregnancy body pillow can provide extra support and relieve pressure on your joints, pelvic discomfort. You may experience pelvic pain or pressure due to the baby's position and the hormone relaxin softening your ligaments. Gentle exercises, such as prenatal yoga or walking, can help alleviate discomfort. Warm baths, applying a heating pad, or using a maternity belt may also provide relief. If the discomfort persists or becomes severe, consult with your healthcare provider for further guidance. Healthy diet and hydration, maintaining a well-balanced diet is crucial for your health and your baby's development. Focus on consuming nutrient-dense foods, including fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and dairy products. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Avoid excessive caffeine and limit your intake of processed foods and sugary snacks. Gentle exercise, engaging in regular, low-impact exercise can help you stay active and maintain your overall well-being. Walking, swimming, prenatal yoga, and stretching are excellent choices. However, Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting or continuing any exercise routine to ensure it's safe for you and your baby. Emotional well-being, pregnancy can bring about a range of emotions. It's essential to prioritize your mental health during this time. 
take breaks, engage in activities you enjoy, and seek support from your partner, family, and friends. Consider joining a prenatal support group or speaking with a mental health professional if you're feeling overwhelmed or experiencing mood swings. Childbirth education. Consider enrolling in childbirth education classes, whether in person or online. These classes can provide you with valuable information about labor, delivery, and postpartum care. They can also help you feel more confident and prepared for the journey ahead. Remember, every pregnancy is unique, and these are just general guidelines. If you have any concerns or questions, always consult with your healthcare provider. Take care of yourself, enjoy these last weeks of pregnancy, and stay tuned for our next episode as we explore the amazing journey of motherhood. See you soon!